Hi, I'm Kate Bolton and this is Wine Time. This is my online episode where we talk about all things business and all things mummy and we do it over wine. So if you haven't already, grab your glass of wine or your beer, your vodka, your tea, your coffee, whatever it is, and come right on back because we're about to get started. It's wine time. I don't know about you, but when I start a business, I feel like this overwhelming pressure that I need to succeed really fast. It's like it's got to make money and everyone's got to love it. It's got to be yay. But the truth is, is most businesses aren't successful like that very quickly. It takes time. It can take more time than maybe you anticipated. So today I'm going to walk you through why I think starting a business is identical to starting a family. And there's lots you can learn from being a mom that you can apply to your business. So number one, I know you did your research. Am I right? Absolutely. I know as a business owner, you did research before you jumped into business. You did research on your industry, on uh, who your competitors are, what your suppliers should be. Hopefully you did your, your research as most business owners do before they jump in. I also know as a mama that you did your research on becoming a mom. You likely read tons of books, one, two, three, five, ten. You probably checked out I don't know how many websites, right? to try and understand what was coming up and how you're going to navigate the new waters as a mom. Should, should they sleep on their stomach? Should they sleep on their back? When, should, when can I put them in their crib? You know, can I have a baby bumper? Are they going to suffocate? All the stress that goes on is the same stress that goes on in business. But think about how you navigated those waters once you had a baby, right? You took the research and you realized pretty quickly that Whatever you read doesn't 100% apply to your life and your situation. The same can be said in business. Not necessarily everything you read is going to be applicable or even useful for your business. That's where you need to follow through and understand what research to leverage and what research to leave behind. Number two, you will make mistakes and mistakes and mistakes and mistakes. Welcome to running a business. That's life. That's how you learn is by understanding what mistakes you've made so you can learn from them. The same thing as being a parent, right? You learn as you go. There's no way you're going to be a perfect parent. Absolutely nobody is. I could tell you some stories. I'll tell you a couple. Just be careful because this is on film, but there are a couple of stories where I've been a bad parent and it happens. Not not willingly, but there's times where maybe I forgot to buckle my kids in that little bucket seat because we were out at the mall and they were uncomfortable, so I buckled it and then that bucket seat, you put the blanket over and you put them in the car and you get home and you take them out and you're like, oh my, right? And you're thinking, what have I done? It happens, you haven't slept, you're tired, you're exhausted. I could tell you that my son rolled off the, roll, uh, off the change table and I, I think I cried for about 45 minutes. I was terrified that I had done something so horrible to him. He was totally fine, but I was mortified because my job is, as mama bear is to protect him. And here he rolled off. You're going to make mistakes. And sometimes you'll make the same mistake more than once. And that's okay. It's just you want to be constantly learning from them. It's the same thing in business. I know when I started my online organic gift basket company, Inventory to me was like this whole new world. I had no idea what I was doing, zero idea. And to be honest, I carried too much inventory and I lost inventory and it spoiled. Organic food in particular has a very short shelf life. So I learned very quickly from my mistakes and we ate a lot of organic blue nacho chips and salsa. But I learned very quickly that there were things that I was gonna to have to change as I moved along. So as much as you adapt as a parent, you have to be willing to adapt in your business. So number three, you get better in time, kind of like a fine wine. It's true. As you grow in your business and you get to understand the ins and outs of your business, you're going to get better. And you're gonna become a specialist in your business, just like you're a specialist in your business family. Let's be honest, there's certain waters now that you can navigate no problem. You can sit there in the kitchen and whip up a dinner in five minutes and have it be perfectly balanced and healthy. 
right? You can, you can calm one of your kids who's hurt themselves because you know instantly now what works for them and what's going to calm them down. You know when you need a mummy break. You know when you need to take five minutes out of your day. Same thing with your business. You're learning as you're going. You're learning what suppliers you want to work with. You're learning what partners you have that are working that aren't, or maybe some new partners that you need to go out and attract. The truth is that as your business grows, you are also growing as a business owner and you're learning every step of the way. So remember, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is your business. You have to work at it and you have to understand that it takes time to build a business and it takes time to grow that confidence you need as a business owner. If this is your first business, then, then why are you expecting yourself to know everything right away? Impossible. Did you know everything as a parent? Did you screw some stuff up along the way? Everybody does. That's part of the learning curve. So learn to cut yourself some slack and enjoy the ride. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Wine Time. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Sign up for Wine Time. And be sure to check out my website at katebolton.com for all kinds of great moms and biz resources. And remember, you can always download my free ebook, My Moms and Biz Survival Guide, at the link below. Just click right there and you'll be right there. So, thank you, and until next week, enjoy your wine. Your mom and a business guru. Take a sip, enjoy the cliff, it's wine time.